Shalom. Giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakurash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. Another episode going into news and prophecy, linking the things happening worldwide to the Holy Scriptures. All right, so that the faithful elect can know that the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai are faithful and true, and also to condemn. All right, the heathen nations beginning with Esau, Edom, the ruler of Babylon the Great, as well as the beast system, all right, which is America, the NATO, and the EU, as well as the heathen nations that are joined unto them to exalt themselves against the Heavenly Father and oppose righteousness by exing out his only begotten Son, okay, and trotting down the elect who have a testimony, all right, to speak. The end into existence, all right, which the end, according to the scriptures, is synonymous with the end of Esau's world, not the end of the whole entire world. No, the end of Esau's world, all right, is being spoken into existence via this testimony, all right, and condemnation to two thirds of our people, all right, who aren't dancing to the tune of the new song, all right, and peace and blessings be upon the elect, the remnant. All right. That's all we're concerned with. And that's the only ones. All right. On this first go round that are going to enter. All right. Into paradise. All right. Which starts with us receiving new bodies. All right. And sin no more having any dominion over us. Well, we'll be at one. All right. With our power through Yahweh Shai. All right. On the fathership. That's coming to deliver us. As the, as the scriptures say. All right, he's going to send his only begotten son to gather the elect. All right, and what's going to be happening on the planet Earth, all right, is all out chaos, war. Okay, as it describes it in 2nd Edges, the 13th chapter, and that's what's being prepared. So I was checking out this video by the elder apostle Tahar. All right, GMS declaring the end. Okay, and the title of this video is Will NATO Abandon the U.S. and Eat Her Flesh with Fire? OK, and um, he's quoting the book of Revelation, the 17th chapter. All right. Which John, the revelator, was given a vision showing us how Babylon the Great will go out. OK, and the way that Babylon the Great is going to go out is by a company of nations. OK, uh, starting with Russia. OK, um, and even countries that are within the EU. OK, which the EU. Right. In times past. All right. Along with NATO worked together for the benefit of Babylon the Great. OK, but we're living in a time where the EU and even NATO countries. All right. Are scoffing at Babylon the Great and growing weary with her. All right. Which is going to lead to Russia and many of these NATO and EU countries to shoot missiles on America as well as go to war with one another, in which through that all, all right, Yahweh Shah is going to return and deliver his elect. And things are getting very, very, very tense. Okay, as the video the Elder Apostle Tahar is playing here, it's called NATO Torn by Russia, Anti-U.S. United States Babylon and Great Marches Erupt in Europe. 20 countries dragged down by Ukraine. And really, the, the, the 20 countries are being dragged down, all right, by Babylon the Great, all right, using Ukraine, all right, as, a, um, as an excuse, all right, because of the sanctions that have been put on Russia, these European countries are being destroyed. The economies are being destroyed, all right? And I remember uh, last week, I did a video how one particular country all right, lifted some of the sanctions. It was a European uh, Union country lifted some of the sanctions on Russia that they had without the approval of the EU. OK, which uh, the Bible describes everything that's happening. And this is the beauty. As a matter of fact, what does the scripture uh, say uh, before they come forth? It said Isaiah 46, Isaiah 42, one of them. I tell you of them. Okay. 
And the prophets may seem like a broken record or redundant, but that's the job the Heavenly Father gave us. All right. And you should be at awe <laughs> with the fact that these things were spoken of and you're seeing them no matter how many times you hear it. All right. And we're not going to stop until the Heavenly Father. All right. Uh, uh, knocks this goddamn Edomite out of the ring through his only begotten son. All right. This is the book of Isaiah 42 and nine. It says, behold, the former things are come to pass us going into captivity. OK. And many other things that came to pass that were prophesied. OK. Hey, the, 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 the flood came to pass. Noah prophesied of that. OK. Fire hit Sodom and Gomorrah. OK. The deadly wound was healed so that uh, the Roman Empire was rebirthed into the earth through the Renaissance period. All of those prophecies came to pass. And new things do I declare before they spring forth. I tell you of them. OK. And when you go into the scriptures. All right. The Bible speaks of the final kingdom. OK. That would rule. OK. In the earth. OK. And when you go into it, it's the revival of Rome. And we're living in that. And that's what Babylon, the great. OK. Which is the, the revival of Rome. But you also have. The EU and NATO, which are vassals, which makes it a beast system. OK, and America rides, as the scriptures say, the whore rides the beast and it's a scarlet colored beast. And, and scarlet is a derivative of red. OK, so the, 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 the whore Babylon, the great rides the beast and America uses the EU and NATO to enforce policies that benefit her. But we're living in a time where these different uh, uh, EU and NATO countries, okay, are balking at Babylon the Great. All right. Now, this is an article I have here, which I'm going to go to this video the Apostle Zahar had and uh, listen to some of it and uh, get a few articles and then we'll get out of here. I ain't going to make this too long, but um, this is an article off of ZeroHeads.com. It says the EU, the beast. OK, accuses Washington of making a fortune from Ukraine war. <laughs> the EU accuses Washington. All right. Which that's Babylon the Great. OK, Washington is in Babylon the Great. OK, of making a fortune from Ukraine war. It says nine months after invading Ukraine, Vladimir Putin is beginning. All right. To fracture the West. And see, that's what Putin uh, 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 Gog and Magog, so to speak, in the Holy Scriptures, um, is set to do, all right, pretty much take away the Western hegemon, all right, and he talks about that a lot, how the reign of the West in NATO is over, okay, because that is what dominates this this current world, Babylon and Great, the NATO and the EU. OK, now with Russia speaking that you have particular EU countries who are partnering with Russia. OK, and now, as you see here, EU is accusing. All right. Washington. OK, so it says Vladimir Putin is beginning to fracture the West. All right. Politicio or, or whatever observes in a surprising admission which marks a stark reversal from prior mainstream media optimism and cheerleading of the White House's blank check approach to supporting Ukraine. Now, when all of this happened, you know, um, the, 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 the Western media. All right. All you saw was pray for Ukraine. All you saw was uh, the yellow and blue, you know, uh, being po postured everywhere, everywhere you looked, you saw support from Ukraine. Which the reason that there was even friction anyway, all right, is because uh, Ukraine, all right, is uh, ultimately, as uh, the NATO promised, they would stop, you know, uh, pushing towards that direction in the east, all right, towards Russia. All right, here it is. Ukraine has applied for membership, you see, to NATO. All right. Which means that there will be an ally to NATO in the front yard of Russia, which goes against a promise. All right. 
that they were supposedly to agree upon that the NATO would no longer push or try to get uh, uh, have any uh, other allies super close to them. But the West pushed all kind of propaganda, all right, and and and, and made you know uh, Putin and Russia out to be these demons that all of the American people should be angry at when it is your own government who got a foot in your ass and have continuously lied to you and, and used and abused you. Here it is. You got niggas walking around. Okay. With dingy braids talking about, uh, uh, uh Putin is the problem. <laughs> and all you stupid Americans. All right. You fell for the propaganda. All right. But now, all right. Through, you know, people seeing what's really going on. All right. And these European countries and even America itself catching hell from the sanctions that were put on Russia. People are starting to, 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 to figure things out. And this is the time we're living in. Esau. All right. Ultimately being divided, destroying one another and ultimately the Heavenly Father delivering us, man. OK. Let's read this again. Nine months after invading Ukraine, Vladimir Putin is beginning to fracture the West. All right. This particular site observes in a surprising admission, which marks a stark reversal from the prior mainstream media optimism and cheerleading of the White House's blank check approach to supporting Ukraine. OK, top European officials are furious with Joe Biden's administration which this is the worst administration in U.S. history. You just had one of them who's a transformer or or, uh, or he's a man who dresses in a dress and, and a skirt, you know, just get accused of uh, <laughs> stealing a damn bag at the airport. This is a big joke. OK, the 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 secretary of uh, the vice president of the secretary of health. Is a trans now? What in the hell can someone who cut their, their 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 thing off tell you about health? Amongst all manner of evil, and it's coming out. All manner of evil is coming out, and this is a nasty, freaky administration, man. But it fulfills prophecy that this is Sodom and Egypt. You see, so the top European European officials are furious with Joe Biden's administration. And now accuse the Americans of making a fortune from the war, all right, while EU countries suffer, you see? And as you can see, the title of the Apostles' video, it goes to Revelation, the uh, the uh, 17th chapter, which let's get that real quick so we can show you what we mean. All right. Before they come forth, I tell you of them. Revelation, the 17th chapter. And the uh, which we have breakdowns on this whole chapter. All right, but I'm going to just jump to the point. This is Revelation 17. And 16 in the 10 horns, which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore and shall make war with her. All right. And shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. OK. Now, the ten horns represents the EU, which started out as ten common markets, ten nations. All right. But now, since they have the fatness of the earth, all right, they've added on more countries. But this represents the subordinate vassals to the Roman Empire, which the new Roman Empire is Babylon the Great. Ancient Rome had its vassals and subordinate states. All right. Meaning, all right, you can be away from Rome. OK, but then you still have a system set up that supports and mimics Rome. They may have their own particular uh, thing going, but it's all for the benefit of Rome. The military. OK, the aid they give, it all works for the benefit of this beast system, which really works in favor of Rome or America. So that's what the ten horns represent. All right. Which are upon the beast. This is the beast system. All right. They're going to hate the whore. OK, these these ten horns are going to hate the whore. All right. Now, let's read the title of this article again. 
the EU accuses Washington of making a fortune from Ukraine war. All right. And <laughs> she'll eat her flesh and burn her with fire. OK, now, how are they going to do that with blow torches and martyr co uh, the, them, them cocktails that they be throwing them? <laughs> no. OK, it's going to be with nuclear weaponry, as we see happening in the planet Earth. All of these nations are gathering weapons for what you think they just gathering them together and, and have all of this weaponry for the purpose of uh, just just putting them in the museum. No, they're going to use those to fulfill prophecy for God have put it in their hearts to fulfill his will. Because what the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Let's get that. Let's get Proverbs 21. All right. This is Proverbs 21. The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh as the rivers of water. He turneth it whithersoever he will. OK, so the king's heart, all of the kings of the earth. All right. Are, uh, their minds are controlled by the heavenly father. OK, so again, he's putting it in their minds to turn an evil eye towards Babylon and great in our time. All right. For the purpose of prophecy being fulfilled. OK, over there uh, uh, near the river Euphrates. All right. The angels are, are, are working on. OK, the uh, minds of the kings, which all of them are, are being gathered over in these regions in the Middle East for what war? OK, so the words of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, faithful and true, no other book goes into detail and breaks it down like this. So call Halal Yahweh Bashim Yashai and we are just mere vessels chosen to, 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 to bring forth the message and Lord, Lord willing we endure because we know that we're called, but we don't know if we're chosen yet. So there's a, a sense of urgency and fervency. All right. And brotherly love. We should all be walking in. All right. To, to, to make our calling and election. Sure, man. OK, so Proverbs 21. And no, uh, Revelation 17 and 17 for God have put it in their minds to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast. All right. Until the words of the Lord shall be fulfilled. So they agreed to all give their kingdom to the beast for the purpose of Babylon the great and for her benefit until the end. All right. To where this woman, this, this, this great city, Babylon the great be burned with fire. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city, which reigneth over the Kings of the earth. And that's Babylon the great. Tell me that's not Babylon the great. OK, <laughs> whose policies run this world? OK, it's Babylon the Great with the help and aid of the NATO and the EU. They, they, they get to have their way and they've been used to having their way for years. But even at the time of Trump, OK, the EU started to buck up against Babylon the Great. Babylon the Great started to lose allies. Why has all of this happened to fulfill prophecy? OK, now I wanted to play and we'll go back to that article, but I want to play here a clip from this uh, what I was checking this out. All right. This is off of Democracy Now!, the U.S. and world headlines. And let's play this. This nigga been around forever. The U.S. announced an additional $53 million in aid to Ukraine to support its energy infrastructure amidst ongoing attacks by Russia. Also Tuesday, NATO reiterated its commitment to grant eventual membership to Ukraine. Meanwhile, earlier today, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen proposed a special court to try Russia over its crimes in Ukraine. All right, let's rewind it a little bit. <laughs> Listen. Listen to everything she just said. Russia. Also Tuesday, NATO reiterated its commitment to grant eventual membership to Ukraine. Okay. Let's go back a little bit more. You see, and that that's really the problem. NATO is trying to make Ukraine want a, a, a part of it. After it was a, a, a covenant so-called made between NATO and Russia that NATO would no longer push towards their territory. And Ukraine is right there in the front yard. So 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 who's really to blame for this big mess? 
See, and America has their hands in the whole damn thing. See, and look how much money they're making off of save Ukraine and this and that. And look how much aid they're sending over there. Here it is. You niggas are suffering. And you uh, average everyday Americans are suffering. And they're just slapping you in the face every week. Just sending these people billions, millions. An additional $53 million in aid to Ukraine to support its energy infrastructure amidst ongoing attacks by Russia. Also Tuesday, NATO reiterated its commitment to grant eventual membership to Ukraine. Meanwhile, earlier today, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen proposed a special court to try Russia over its crimes in Ukraine. Russia must pay for its horrific crimes including for its crime of aggression against a sovereign state. And this is why, while continuing to support the International Criminal Court, we are proposing to set up a specialized court backed by the United Nations to investigate and prosecute Russia's crime of aggression. Kyiv has been pushing international actors to establish a tribunal to hold Moscow accountable for its invasion. This comes as President Volodymyr Zelensky warns Russian forces are, quote, planning something in the south as they try to advance in the region. Ukrainian officials said at least five civilians were killed in strikes in the Donetsk region on Tuesday. In Washington, D.C., a federal jury convicted Oath Keepers founder Stuart Rhodes of seditious conspiracy for plotting to keep Donald Trump in power after the 2020 election. OK, so that's all we needed. That's all we needed out of that. So you see things are heating up. OK, now. Let's go back here. All right. To this article. Top European officials are furious with Joe Biden's administration and now accuse the Americans of making a fortune from the war while EU countries suffer. OK, there's clearly a growing frustration among now. Why are the European countries suffering because of those sanctions? All right. Energy prices are going through the roof. They're having to uh, uh, have energy um, lockdowns. Pubs are closing early. Okay, and as we enter into the super cold winter, okay, they're telling uh, people you won't be able to turn your heat up above 66, which why is that number always popping up six? Because this is the, the, the man of sin. Okay, there's clearly growing frustration among European officials over Washington's refusal to push the Zelensky government to the negotiating table. All right. While an unprecedented billions worth of weaponry and defense aid pours in. OK. <laughs> so 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 Russia not supposed to uh, react to that. <coughs> How are they the bad guys? Which to hell with Russia. All right. But it's just the, 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 the point risking unprecedented escalation between NATO and Russia. You see. And. See, while all of this is happening, you have division in the EU. All right. NATO, Russia tensions, NATO, EU uh, uh, tensions, uh, uh, Russia, EU tensions, Babylon, Russia tensions. A lot of these NATO and EU countries are growing weary with Babylon and they're going to join Russia. See. The scriptures say about this nigga Esau, excuse my French that those who were at peace with him are going to deceive him. Obadiah, okay, verse 7. All the, Let's start at 6. How are all the things of Esau searched out? All right, how are his hidden things sought up? And he's being exposed every day. Every time you look up, he's being exposed. You see this Valenciaga thing. Or Balenciaga, which is, is is really when you look it up in the Latin, ball is king, but all is king. They're openly telling you that they worship Satan. They openly telling you who they really are. And it's through the words of the prophets coming out. Now they have to boldly uh, uh, declare who they really are. And the man of sin is being revealed. All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee. 
You see? Now, a confederacy, all right, is a covenant, okay? Uh, uh, an agreement, you see? And we always go into this, all right? But it's Bariath, okay? Barayath, all right? Covenant Alliance Pledge, and that's what the EU and the NATO was supposed to be for the purpose of, of, of upgrading Babylon the Great and making it an unstoppable force. Okay, so all the men of that confederacy have brought thee even to the border, okay, and surrounding your ass. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread, bread have laid a wound under thee, and there is none understanding. Okay? And see, that's a snare, all right, in order to take Babylon. All right? Jeremiah 50 and 24, I have laid a snare for thee, and thou wert also taken, O Babylon, and thou wast not aware. Thou art found and also caught, because thou hast striven against the Lord. And look how you're striving against the Lord. Look at the... Look at the world you've created. Look at the society you've created. Look at the condition of the children, the water, the, the air, people, marriages. Everything is just polluted, tainted, ugly. You've clearly striven against the Lord, man. And now you want to boast and setting up some 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 NWO where you're going to have uh, uh, the whole world under the uh, uh, under uh, in a in a damn grid on a smart city. With a haragma, you out of your damn mind. You're striving against the Lord openly now because you can no longer hide it. That's why all of this is happening. Okay? It says, meanwhile, European populations will continue being first to pay the price amid frigid winter temperatures and stimulus severe energy supply crisis even as some leaders still spout abstract ideas of sacrifice. And while the Biden and, and all the while Biden has continued rolling out his controversial green subsidies and taxes, which are widely perceived as unfairly pushing European industries at this most sensitive juncture. All right. Which they just plan on crashing. He's see Biden is doing uh, the bidding of the elites. Crash these economies, bring all out chaos, bring in the NWO. Okay? But the Lord has other plans. All right? It says, uh, senior European officials speaking to Polit Politico, all right? Politico uh, uh, additionally blasted the White House policy of, in effect, using the Ukraine war to line the pocket of American defense contractors while at the same uh, turning a deaf ear to European pleas for some relief on the no-win situation. The fact is, if you look at it soberly, the country that is mostly profiting from this war is the United States because they are selling more gas at higher prices and because they are selling more weapons. All right, because they, 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 they cut Russia off. All right. It says the senior official said the person acknowledged a large scale shift in sentiment happening, largely driven by the uh, the intractable win in Ukraine at all cost stance of the U.S. administration. OK. <laughs> Let's see what this article says. It says. Uh, see what this says. Let it load. So we in some beautiful times, man. The explosive comment backed in public and private by officials, diplomats and ministers elsewhere following mounting anger in Europe over American subsidies that threaten to wreck European industry. The Kremlin is likely to be to welcome the the poisoning of the atmosphere among Western allies. Woo! We are really at a historic juncture. The senior EU official said, arguing that the double hit of trade disruption from U.S. subsidies and high energy prices risks turning public opinion against both the war effort and transatlantic alliance. Woo. 
America needs to realize that the public opinion is shifting in many EU countries. Now, why is that happening? Well, we're reading it. Okay. But the U.S. National Security Council has lately reiterated that its position, uh, it's reiterated its position that the crisis is solely on Putin's shoulder. There you go. Putin, Putin, Putin. (laughs) You hear Biden say Putin so much. It's like, God damn. While while Washington is simply uh, presenting ramped up U.S. liquefied natural gas delivery to Europe as fulfilling the need to uh, uh, to diversify away from Russia. Yeah, so don't get any gas from Russia. He's... Telling these EU countries, don't get no gas, you know, you know, from Russia. Okay, but then he'll here, here they come here, but but get this. Okay, and it's higher. <laughs> and who benefits? Babylon. So these people, this man is the devil. Okay, and it, it keeps going. Let's see what this guy says. Even the typically compliant U.S. foreign policy chief Joseph Bo- Borrell is now questioning and showing hints of losing, losing faith in United efforts to support Ukraine, acknowledging, all right, uh, that Americans are friends takes decisions which have economic impact on us. So, so this this is what the 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 beast is hating the whore. Okay, the men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee. And eventually it's going to lead to an assault on Babylon the Great. Okay. Let's go back here. Finish it up. It says, uh, and more point of breakdown. Brussels sees that the United States sells us its gas with a multiplier effect of four when it crosses the Atlantic. European Commissioner for the Internal Market said on Wednesday, of course, the Americans are our allies. But when something goes wrong, it's necessarily between allies to say it. Another EU diplomat cited in the pilot uh, Tico or Tiso. All right. Reported report described that Biden's three hundred and sixty nine billion dollar industrial subsidy scheme to support green industry as a part of the Inflation Reduction Act unleash panic across european capitals the inflation reduction act has changed everything the u.s diplomat said is washington still our ally or not the rising fury could spill into the streets as more european households are likely to experience shortages in electricity and heat this winter further intensifying pressures on eu politicians so you see that OK, we, 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 we see what's happening. All right. And this was that article. Oh, boy. Yes, yeah, the same thing. OK. And this is off of that website. I got Polit, Polit, uh, Politico or Politiso. All right. Politico. <laughs> All right. Um, so there you go. Um, so this is that website. So I'm going to have to start checking this out. But um. What I want to do. So let's get this real quick. This is Joel chapter three and nine. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. All right. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. And let the weak say I am strong. And all of these weak nations that would have never spoke against Babylon are now growing nuts. They're aligning themselves with Russia you know, Iran, and it's, it's getting ready to be a party, okay? Even the weak nations are, are, are now emboldened in a mindset against the West. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, okay? O Lord, let the heathen be awakened and come up to the valley of Yahweh Shapat over in the Middle East, for there there will I sit to judge all the heathen that are round about. So it's getting ready to go down. Okay, uh, a war is in the air. Okay, and there's so much division happening 
amongst these devils. What does the Lord say? Okay. I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. Okay. And the, the modern day Egypt is, Bab is Babylon, the great America. All right. But who's the modern day Egyptians? Who's the modern day Pharaoh? You Edomites. Okay. And that trickles down to the other people being against each other. But high level Edomites are at, at odds with other high level Edomites. All right. And they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. Nothing but division is in the air. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. And I will seek and I will destroy the counsel thereof. And they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and wizards. So this place has fallen. You Edomites are done. Now, I want to go and listen to some of this video as well that the Apostle Tahar was uh listening to and then i'll get a few other scriptures and then we'll close it out welcome to channel deeper moments today's topic is russia the winner anti-us demonstrations erupt in france and germany as 20 countries are dragged down and nato is torn apart the war continues on the battlefield in Ukraine, with both Ukraine and Russia struggling to hold on to each other. Compared to Russia, Ukraine is clearly in a more difficult position. Under the ongoing Russian shelling and airstrikes, there are water, electricity and internet outages in many parts of Ukraine. In Kiev, although the relevant authorities are doing their best to repair the situation, there is still a 20% power supply gap and over 6 million residents are without electricity. Snow has already started to fall in many parts of Ukraine and residents are worried about how they will survive the winter without electricity, water and heating. On top of the battlefield, the Ukrainian army is in no better position. Although the Russian troops had been forced to withdraw from Kherson, the previous major counterattack had exhausted the Ukrainian army. With the Russian forces holding the Dnieper River, the Ukrainian army is currently unable to continue advancing and is forced to stand apart from the Russian forces. <laughs> In addition, at the military level, Ukraine is currently facing two major problems. The first problem is that the quality of Western weapons is not up to scratch. According to informed officials, the artillery pieces that the US and its allies are assisting Ukraine with are often damaged or outright destroyed. One third of the 350... America's through. They're sending a uh, uh, dusty military aid over there. America's through, man. Hey, call Halal Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. They send it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. It says one third of the 350 howitzers used by the Ukrainian army are at risk of failure. <laughs> and see, really, uh, uh, if Putin wanted, they can just dismantle and destroy, uh, destroy Ukraine, you know, cut off all their energy if they wanted to. Anyway, the howitzers used by the Ukrainian army are at risk of failure. The U.S. solution to this situation is for Ukraine to transport the damaged guns to U.S. bases in Europe, where they will be repaired and returned to the Ukrainian army. In the early days of the Russian-Ukrainian conflict, Ukraine was given old and obsolete weaponry. Now the West is giving Ukraine star weapons, such as the US-aided M777 howitzer and the Hymas rocket launcher, which are used by the US military itself. Heavy artillery is so vital to the UAF that Ukrainian soldiers do not normally destroy artillery of their own accord, except by the Russians. Since the Ukrainians did not damage them themselves, it is worth considering why. In contrast, although Putin has not declared a state of war in Russia, many arsenals are working overtime to produce weapons and equipment. Take the famous Ural tank manufacturing plant for example, satellite pictures show that dozens of tanks and armored vehicles are parked neatly in the open space of the plant every day. You see, this fulfills what we just read in Joel, prepare war. Okay, prepare war, wake up the mighty men. Okay. Isaiah 34 and 1, come near all ye nations to hear and hearken ye people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein, the, wor the world and all the things that are come forth of it. Okay. Let's read verse 2. 
for the indignation of Yahweh is upon all nations and his fury is upon all their armies. So he's gathering them, gathering them to destroy them. But when it's all said and done, who who who's this aimed at? Okay, verse five, for my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumea and upon the people of my curse to judgment. The you Edomites, which which when you read this, it 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 it, it ends with the destruction of America. Okay, Babylon the Great. Okay, no nobody are gonna dwell in it from generation to generation. It shall lie waste. That's the judgment of Babylon the Great. I guarantee you. The cross reference leads us to a precept about Babylon. Okay. Boom. Revelation 18. Okay. <laughs> uh, Isaiah 13. It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. See? Malachi 1 and 3. I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste. For the dragons of the wilderness, where um, Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we shall return and build the desolate places. That happened in the Renaissance. They rebuilt Rome all the way up to now. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down and sh sh they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom Yahweh hath indignation forever. OK, but the point of all of that was that in Isaiah, the 34th chapter. OK, that this is Esau's the end of the world, just said in a different way. The sword is going to be bathed in heaven against Idumea via Babylon, the great being destroyed. And this everything that's happening is leading to that. OK, everything we see happening is leading to that. OK, so war is being prepared to fulfill what was written. All right. Thousands of years ago.